This is Jordan Tower with JT News. Make sure you smash that like button. Smash that subscribe button. Let's get right into the news. Um, well, bad news. A.R. Rab was sentenced to 45 years for uh, running a drug ring and implicated in murder. Now, this guy named Tez that testified against him, basically snitched on him, um, he... Uh, said that like AR Rab ordered the hit and he he orchestrated it for ten thousand dollars in product and then uh they filed an emergency motion to stop the victim's family from speaking at his sentencing earlier this week but obviously that didn't go through and uh they were able to speak and he's gonna be serving 45 years that so i think they caught him with a rico i mean Jeez, man. You know, he just got out like five years ago from, from doing a stint. And now, uh, 2019, he was picked back up. He's been fighting this. And, you know, now the federal judges, you know, the statement to him was like, you could have been a hero instead of a criminal. And then, uh, but you became a drug dealer and you made that decision. That's why you're getting punished. Uh, the court, the FBI agents, the prosecutors don't understand my culture, Arab said. Well, and he says, uh, we don't rap about flowers and rainbows. We're gangster rappers. We rap about where we grew up. So we rap about drug dealing. We rap about violence. Now, they did use some of his lyrics against him, too. I mean, it was just, just be careful what you rap about, too. That, that, that's another thing. Um, there's going to be other sentences within this whole, you know, like eight people got wrapped up. So we'll see what happens with that. That's a long time, 45 years. It's like you don't even you don't even get a second chance. So. All right. Well, next. Academics lands a podcast deal. A lot of people are assuming it's with Spotify because that's the hint he gave you know of his playlist like stay tuned to my playlist on, on Spotify but I don't know but that's that's big for him you know that's I mean you know he's been climbing the ladder since he started at YouTube he did complex he still has a show at complex he's doing this he's doing uh brand deals he's doing a good job man so congratulations to him it's got to be worth a lot of money and it might be a little pettiness on uh if it is with Spotify, with Spotify, you know, Joe Budden left and they're like, yeah, well, we'll get academics. <laughs> I mean, think about it. It could be, you know, they could be getting a little petty over there at Spotify. Um, Joel Santana denied travel. Now, recently he got his ankle monitor off. Uh, he served 19 months of his 27 month sentence. Uh he so he got his ankle monitor taken off, but he can't shake everything loose. Basically, he just denied a request to go to Florida uh, for, for work. And uh, Lizette Santana has been enjoying his freedom too much. They said they did a drug test and he tested positive for opioids and methadone. What? <laughs> Dude, I mean, is that even true? He, he, and he wanted to travel with two convicted felons, which isn't allowed. Okay. But testing, they tested positive for, he tested positive for opioids and methadone. Dude, chill out, my G. Whoa. Uh, anyways, he will, uh, let's see. Herringer didn't confirm if Santana has been under the influence since his release from prison and claimed the drug test was a false positive. And it's unclear how long before Santana could be approved for travel in the future. So his attorney saying it was a false test. Well, we'll see. Anyways, uh, this is Jordan Tower with JT News. Make sure you smash that like button, smash that subscribe button. And I'll check you guys in the next one. Peace. If you need to make money, I would just record a bunch of songs and just put them out, bro. Like, seriously. I mean, why not? You got a studio in your house. So do it.